Nonetheless, her body has responded. Docs say her heart is good. She's feeling good, and she's excited to get back in action. Thank you, Allie. Tip off, controlled there by the Sparks. They'll have to start the fourth and final period. LA in their purples, the Mystics in their whites. Nice backdoor, Katie Lou on the find from the willing passer. That is Liz Cambage. Here's Austin, left open, puts it on the deck. Oh, sent away, Liz Cambage with the block. First missed shot of the night for the Mystics. They made their first four. Lexi Brown, transition three. Here's Austin, left open, puts it on the deck. Oh, sent away, Liz Cambage with the block. First missed shot of the night for the Mystics. They made their first four. Lexi Brown, transition three. Lexi Brown is on fire. So much confidence. You have to pick her up as soon as she crosses half court. Atkins off one leg, falling away. They had the longest winning streak in the league at that time. At three games. First time they'd won three in a row all season. Here's Powell with eight on the shot clock. Alicia Clark left open for three. Alicia Clark had a nurse coming off of injury, but she has been stroking it, finding the basket. Lou tries to answer, and she does. Mystics 14 and 10, Sparks 10 and 12 on the year. Here's Christy Tolliver making her first appearance after missing the last two. Can beige back in there and goes with the left hand. I think people think Liz is like two inches taller than she's been tonight. That's a second pass that's just been a little too high. It's not every day you play with someone 6'8 as Austin gets the fall away there. 18-12 right. Mystics lead. And that's been a key to the game for both sides. Don't forget the last time the Mystics were here, they coughed it up so much, the Sparks were able to build a huge lead. Walker Kimbrough, the floater over the outstretched arm of Cambage. That's because she is just so multidimensional. With all of this shuffling, there certainly has been that as Walker Kimbrough gets into the passing lane. The run out, laid up and in. Yeah. Sykes with the ball, Sparks down by nine. Shanae is straight away three, right on cue. Cloud, around the Williams screen. Wide open as Hines Allen, she can't answer, but mostly for that board there is Williams. Williams going right at Cam Beige, and that one was disrupted there by Liz. She kicks it out to Sykes, pulls up, elbow, jump shot, good. Brittany Sykes, welcome back. Sykes with six off the bench. That was her first field goal of the night, however. Atkins, the lefty three from the corner is good. Nine seconds separate shot clock from game clock. Sykes trying to initiate the offense. Oh, the crossover. Sykes down the lane, rejected there by Deladon, who's able to save it from going out of bounds. This was about, like, we need to make sure that we split the, the series with us on the upside against teams. There's Deladon, the fall away, and she gets it. Elena Deladon, another bucket here. And she's now got seven. Thank you, Ali. And Fred Williams talked about being the first team to get to inside the bonus, right? And sparks more free throw attempts in that first half, seven of eight compared to six of six by the Mystics. But there's Deladon once again. She's got nine now. Deladon is exploiting the defense. She's posting up. She's showing that she could shoot the shot. She's got a number of ways to hurt you. Lou from the corner. That was needed. Brown. Janae coming out of nowhere. Janae uh, Akwumike has out hustled and out efforted everyone to that bucket. Or even like a Diana Taurasi, they, they spent a lot of time in the pregame section. Pre practice. Nelson Adota, the fall away. Oh, pretty touch there by the rookie out of UConn. A pro. Taking care of your body, right? And, and that's all about being a pro. Here's Canada, the fall away. He got the bounce. Hines out. Double team comes, splits through, and it goes off glass. Nice move there by Maisha Hines out. Fresh brain, she's out here. She's outside, literally. She <laughs> said she could not come back. Oh, nice in and out, side high off the glass. And here we were, possibly concerned about her conditioning. <laughs> I don't know how she got it done in quarantine. Well, she's been back since Friday as Hines Allen gets the bucket. Elena Deladon with the ball, nine points on the night. Clark thought about the three, puts it on the deck. Wide open lane for her, and she takes advantage. Washington 
now has its largest lead of the night. Sparks got it to within four. Now they're down by 11. And Sykes makes the mid-range jump. Getting it done on that end of the floor. And then cleaning it up on the offensive end. Here's the crossover, Jordan Canada. Oh, don't be so mean, JC. In case you're just joining us, Sparks playing this game tonight without Neka Ogumake, who's out with a non-COVID-related illness. Sparks on the verge of being there here in this third, already drawing four fouls against the Mystics. Cambay is going to work against the rookie Austin right over. No call, a lot of contact there, but Liz still able to finish. Sparks down by six. Liz calling for it, and that pass intercepted. The long lead to Walker Kimbrough, nice. Cloud looking to push. In transition, Deladon going baseline, off glass. Nice job to avoid the charge there. 5.47 left in this third quarter. Mystics by 10. Out of the timeout, Lou creating space for three and knocking it down. Now tasked with trying to guard Deladon. Double team comes. And that's a huge double with Shanae Kumake. Walker Kimbrough, the pull-up jumper. Williams kicked out to Cloud, left open for three, and she knocked it down. It was a furious comeback by Washington when these teams first met, and led by Cloud, who was three for three from three in that fourth quarter. Here's Nelson Adona going off the bounce. And showing the handles. Lexi trying to go baseline. Nice pass to Cheney in the lane. Nice two-player game there. Good to see Elena Deladon back in there. She got hit and went to the locker room briefly. Back in there now as Natasha Cloud gets the fourth quarter scoring started with that mid-range pull-up. Sykes, the runner, gets the bounce. You're talking about an MVP candidate. And anytime you remove an MVP candidate away from a team, you know, that's a big hole to fill. Tolliver will try another one. She got it this time. Brown takes the handoff. The hesitation. Lexi Brown knifing through the defense. She's more than the shooter. Yo. Putting it on the deck. Walker Kimbrough the shot fake. Hines Allen has some space in the lane. Kicks out Deladon wide open for three. Seems like every time the Sparks have tried to make a push, you said it. It's been Deladon having a response. Here's Tolliver, the step back, okay. falling away. KT now trying Vintage. to get in their groove. Tolliver can get into a zone where she doesn't need much space at all. Here's Walker Kimbrough. She's got nine off the bench. Cloud will try a three and hit another one. Here's Atkins. Out to Cloud. Deladon, she'll try another three. Are you kidding me? Elena Deladon now four of five from beyond the arc. She's got 26. Cloud comes right back with the answer. Natasha Cloud now with 19. And you really got to take advantage of your home games. We're really a tough stretch here. You got Washington tonight, and then the champs come into town on Thursday. Walker Kimbrough there with the three point. Well, don't forget the last time the Mystics came here, they played without Elena Deladon and lost. And, you know, they had a, an uphill battle, making up for all the turnovers that they had. The trailer is Lou, and she can't get the three there. Rebound corralled in the corner by Hines Allen. Ah, so that's now, gonna be that. That was her first miss from three. It was, she finishes now four or five from beyond the arc, 16 points for Lou.